So one could do this problem by selecting an example for x. For example, x is, say, root 7, because they tell us x is an irrational number. And I can test the answer choices and eliminate, uh, which are not true, because they're saying must be true under all circumstances. So a x cubed in this case would be root 7 multiplied with itself three times. That gives me 7 root 7, which is irrational. So that's a possibility. x square would be squaring this would be 7. Uh, that is a not an irrational number. In fact, that's rational. So b is out. c is x plus x, which would be 2 root 7. That's irrational. So that's a possibility. x square is 7. And in this case, it does satisfy. And then x plus x is a rational number. x plus x would be 2 root 7, which is not rational. So E is out. So we have three left here, and uh, I need to come up with more examples. Uh, so for example, the first one, if x was cube root of 7, which is irrational, if you do x cube, it becomes 7, so it becomes rational, but they're saying it's irrational, so that negates A. Left with these two, and here, if I picked x to be uh, fourth root of 7, then x squared, I'm looking at choice D, would become uh, square root of 7, which is irrational. So that eliminates that. We're left with C. So that's one way to do it. I mean, it still work. Uh, or you can recognize x plus x is 2x, and that means 2 times any rational number must always be irrational. So that's another way to do it. But either way, and the answer is choice C.